be glorified. Let me think about that one. <sighs> okay. So the morning started, I think we all started together in the bigger group and just before we left I remember Rita saying let's, let's have a moment of free worship. And then afterwards she encouraged us to just go find people to write with. And so I thought, you know, I, I love to write with people I don't know or I haven't written with. Well I was fortunate and super privileged to end up in a group with the beautiful Karine. I asked Langa first, I said, hey, do you want to write with me? And then we, we kind of just got the beautiful Sima and the amazing Koketsu. And uh, we were talking about uh, South Africa and the different issues around South Africa. Koketsu said when he was on top of the mountain that morning at the 5 a.m. walk, he looked at the land and he felt that all the land belongs to the Lord. And we came to the conclusion that ultimately, whatever it is, it needs to end up in glorifying God. And the whole premise of it was, how would we give back the land to God and essentially we just wanted to rededicate back the land and let him redistribute. And so whatever tribe, whatever nation it is, the end goal and the end state needs to be that we glorify God. And then we said, yeah, let's each add our own language. I remember Koketsu was saying, he's hearing something, kind of like da 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 da. And that, that became a very powerful part in the song. We sang it in Zulu, we sang it in Afrikaans. We sang it in Sutu and it was awesome. I actually think that's my favorite part of the song. It's so declarative, you know? It was beautiful from the beginning to the end. It's complete unity. I think you can feel the unity on the song. My hope for this song would be that we really feel the unity as South Africans and the Afrikaans line that goes. which means uh, let us be one in unity and through your power heal our land. The uh, hope is that, is that people would focus their hearts and attention and their lives and their everything towards glorifying God. No matter our situation, our circumstances, no matter our upbringing, our age, or uh, economic circumstances, whatever it is, it needs to all lead up to God being glorified. I hope that all of us as a nation, as diverse as we are, will sing the song and glorify God together. You know, I hope we'll raise a mighty sound, man, and it's just gonna be earth-shaking, more than earth-shaking, you know, but that it's gonna move things. It's gonna move things in our hearts, it's gonna move things in our country.